Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. In this video, we are going to discuss how to make chapter, section and subsection in Microsoft Word. Let's begin. Okay, so, first of all, open a document, which is just plain text, and I want to change the headings in this documents into numbered academic headings, in order to create chapters, section and subsection. Okay, so, first of all, I have here, heading 1 and heading 2. Now, I want more options, so, I am going to go to styles, and then manage styles, and then recommend, and I am going to select heading 2, and I am going to change this, to show, then heading 3, and change that to show. And, I could have up to 9 different heading styles here, and I'm going to use only first 3, then, select OK, and click close this, OK, now, I have heading 1 2 3 here, now, I'm going to select this and define new multi-level lists. And, I'm not going to more here, so, I can see all of my options, now, I'm going to start setting up the format, that I want. So, I do not want it to look like this, I want the first level to be chapters. Now, I'm going to write chapter, and I want the chapter to be number 1, 2, 3. Then, I do not want to have any indents in any of my levels, so, I'm going to change these to 0 and then click OK. And I want the this to be followed a space, so before the title, there will be a space, then I'm going to link this to heading 1. So, whenever I select, heading 1, it will show me this format. Now, I'm going to change font, so, it make the, Time New Roman, and bold, and size 16, and want it to be black, and then click OK. OK, now, to select the level 2, and I want for these to be my sections, so, I want to show you, the number of the chapter, and then full stop, and then the number of the section, and I want this to be followed by a space again, before the title, and this I'm going to heading 2, and I'm gonna select the font again, and make it, Time New Roman, and bold, size 10, and then black, and click OK. I'm going to select level 3, and I want to show the chapter, and then full stop, and then section and full stop, and then, the number of the subsection, I want this to be followed by a space, I'm going to link this to headings 3, and make the font the same, then bold, size 10 and then black, click OK again. Now, I have the chapter 1 part but I need to change the text in the actual title, so, I'm going to make it, Time New Roman, and bold and then black, and then I want there to be a space afterwards as well, OK, I'm going to make sure, I'm selected the somewhere in here, and going to heading 1, and right click, and update heading 1 too much selection. Ok, anytime I select heading 1, it will change it to be in this format. Obviously, I do not want to be a chapter, I want to be heading 2, and I need to update the format again for this, and I make it bold, and then, black, and add a space after words, then I can do the same thing again. And then, select in here. Then right click here, and update heading 2, to match the selection. So, then, if I scroll down, I can change this, heading 2, this is my first subsection, and will be heading 3, then I need to update this format as well. So, I'm going to make size 10, and bold and black. Now, I'm going to add a space afterwards, and I'm going to right click to update heading 3 too much selection. This will be heading 3, and then the result will be heading 2, and then this will be heading 3, ok, now, if I go to view in the navigation page, I will see all my sections listed, and if I click any one of them, it will take me to that point in the document. I can also click on the little triangles here to open and close these sections, and I can also do this within the document, ok, that is it. Thank you for watching. Like share and subscribe my channel for more informative videos.